No, this is a one-game season, and it will be every game we play from here on out. It's a one-game season. We'll talk about it today. That's what it is. One-game season. Now, are you going to fight like heck? Are you going to play through the ups and downs of a game? Or are you going to die? Can't put it any more plainly or bluntly. But you don't know until the game starts with this crew. But, you know, I think when you start figuring out I'm going to die, you start figuring out ways to survive. That's normal. Unless you're so delusional, you don't know you're about to die until you, you're like, I'm dead. I mean, but, you know, we, th this team, again, we're going to make it real simple what we're trying to do. I watched the tape of last year's game on the plane coming back. You know, got to be better versus the press. And we gave them four threes, just not talking. Just a side handoff up the sideline twice. Alex got screened twice, never said a word, bang, bang. Those four threes put us down at half, 12, 13. Other than that, we played good. I watched the tape. It wasn't Nerland's playing that great and doing – we we were fine. Um, got it to 10, had our chances, you know, did some stuff. But, again um, – we got to have better st structure against the press. We've got to, you know, be more consistent and disciplined in what we're doing defensively. And we just can't have the breakdowns we had down there. You've got a team like Florida. Are you more fortunate to, to play a team like Florida, a chance to beat someone like that, as opposed to maybe an Auburn or something like that type of building? Mm, they just want to win games, so it doesn't matter who we're playing. Like, what, what's happened, and, and to be truthful, if we beat Georgia, we still had to win this game. I didn't want to say that down there, but that, that was the truth. We had to win. This is the game you got to go and say, all right, it's a one-game season. How are you going to play? And you're playing against a team that's vying for a one seed. They're playing for something, too, now. They're trying to get a one seed. So it's going to be a hard ball game. But it's look, that's what we need. We need to keep the eye on this program and the, the, the far-reaching parts of it, not just tomorrow's game. Where is this going? Who can be a part of it? Who can't? I mean, when this kind of game comes, this is what playing at Kentucky is about. You're at home. You're going to have 25,000 crazy fans with you. Go ball. And you don't hold anything back. Tom, what sort of uh, assess do you want from the crowd or hope to get from the crowd? Our crowd has been great. I, they'll be there. I don't have any. I'm not worried about our crowd. That's the least of my worries. Way? Does this team view it that way? Do they see it as? Like I don't know. Death? I don't know. But you, the best compliment I had as a coach was from the players from Manhattan College when I was a coaching at UMass. Said, you know, playing Massachusetts, it's like if they lose, they're going to go to the electric chair. The greatest compliment ever paid my team. I've told every team that. And, you know, you, you got to have that kind of fight, and my teams normally do. This team does not right now. But it, you can turn it on at any point. It's kind of like, uh-oh, if I go under one more time, I'm going to drown. I better start swimming. And all of a sudden, you start swimming. The car's laying on you. It's on your leg. you got to lift a 3,000-pound car. It's funny how you figure out how to lift it to get it off your leg so you don't die, so you can get out of there and get help. This team can do what they choose to do. I mean, I, I, I would say they're tired of how we're playing, but, you know, we're going to have to go out and do it. Julius has struggled offensively the last couple of games. They've kind of taken him away. He's, he's, I'm not worried about Julius either. We'll, we'll, you know, they're going to guard him. Um, if we play the way we should against pressure and all the other stuff, he'll get shots, and I have confidence that he'll make some. We need him to score to be as good as we can be. Um, but, you know, again, you know, we've – Georgia, the whole thing was we're not going to put them on the foul line. That was the whole thing. We're not putting them on the foul line. They're going to beat us shooting balls. So we hold them to 36 percent. Foul and jump shooter. What? I don't understand. So that's the kind of stuff like we can't this game. Here's the game plan. Let's go for it. 
Let's do it. And, and you know, I think, again, you know, the couple guys, it's not a whole team. You have a couple guys that break down and, um, you know, they're just going to have to step up and play. You got no choice. In terms of senior night, obviously, this season hasn't gone according to plan, but where would this team be without a guy like Julius? Oh, we would struggle. But we needed everybody. We needed, uh, you know, you needed – Nerlens, you needed Julius, you needed, but you also needed guys to be the best version of themselves, not, you know, getting mauled over, you know, like you just, you needed them to be what they could be. And so now I'm just saying, you're up against it, that's what you're going to have to do now. This is, you know, I'm good. This is, this is part of what you do, the exciting part of what you do as a coach. How do you get your team when they're in this frame of mind? How do you switch this thing over and get them ready to play? What do you do? And so, you know, you rack your brain and try to come up with some things, and there's no rabbit in the hat. Yeah, we got one. It, isn't, it is, it's simply going to be, we're up against it, are you willing to ball? You're up against it, are you willing to ball? Are you going to? Or are you going to, you're going to have man-made excuses before we start the game? Let's just go. Nothing to lose. Let's go for it. Does, how much does Scotty Wilbegin's approach, is, is that the approach you'd like to see? A what, what are you saying? Well, I mean, he really seems to get after it, uh, especially defensively. On. No, we've had that. I mean, we've had Michael and we've had Marcus T. We've had guys to I mean, do that. Sure. DeAndre, we've had guys that did it. We just – no one wants to take on that role. It's a hard role. Uh, but he's done what he's supposed to for that team, which changes up the game. Now, the, the question is, he didn't do that to Missouri. Missouri's guards – you know, and, and Arkansas didn't do that to Missouri's guard. They got beat by 30. It's just you're not going to do that to me. And that's what I'm saying. It, you know, we, we, we're capable and we've shown signs, so this is one of those ones. Let's, let's get out there and play. Last question. Cal for senior day, you're, you're not honoring anybody tomorrow that's been here for four years in this program and seen everything. Yeah, I'm but, you know, we also, John Wall, that. or John, John, excuse me, John Hood is graduating. And uh, Jared Paulson is also graduating. Uh, Marquise is graduating. So, you know, we've got guys that are finishing up and doing well academically, and, and senior night is for them as much as anything else. But, no, with Julius and, and, and Twani, um, you know, we've had a lot of guys leave, and, and I wouldn't want it any other way. If you told me, well, wouldn't you like to take away the national title and have players that weren't so good and have them all come back? No, I'm good. I'm good where we are. And, you know, like I said, you got guys graduating, 20 college degrees, along with John Hood, along with uh, Jared Polson. So you're, again, that means we've had 10 or 11 kids graduate in my four years here, along with every kid that's gone pro. We brought back, and Dwayne's not, how many guys have we brought back to finish up? Three. Three have come back to finish up. So that's what we're in the business for. We're in the business of helping these kids and doing what we can. Uh, we're also in the business of winning here. And so hopefully we come out and we fight like heck and see where it goes. Um, you just want your chances. And I think, again, like we played against Missouri, if we have our chances, it should be a terrific ball game. But you're going to have to battle and fight and never put your head down and not worry that they could make three, four shots in a row. They could do some crazy things. They're really good. But you can't have that affect how you play the game. Got to get over it. So hopefully uh, that's what we'll be able to do.